Hello friends, welcome back to my new lecture. Today we are going to see the second problem of sphere. Let's read the problem. Determine a rate of heat flow through spherical boiler which is a 2 meter inner diameter and 2 centimeter thick steel. K is equal to 58 watt per meter per Kelvin. Okay, this is what the first sentence. Determine a rate of heat transfer. So we have to determine a rate of heat transfer through a spherical boiler. So there is a spherical boiler, spear means what? It's like a ball and boiler means what? Which is used for a boiling of water or any other liquid, which is a 2 meter inner diameter. The diameter of that particular boiler is a 2 meter and thickness of that is a 2 centimeter. So uh, let me draw that particular a boiler first of all. So that boiler I'm drawing as like this. So let's consider this is the inner surface of boiler. Then the outer surface of boiler will be something like this. So this is the outer surface of boiler. They have given that inner diameter of this pier, inner diameter of this particular boiler is 2 meter. So let me show. 2 meter as inner diameter so this is 2 meter as inner diameter so this is 2 meter okay and 2 centimeter thick so thickness of this thickness of this particular is 2 centimeter 2 centimeter if I divide if I uh, convert into the meter so it will become 0 0.02 meter 0 0.02 meter. Now you may feel that a 2 meter is very small compared to 2 centimeter but this is symbolic representation. If I draw this thickness very small then the figure will become a too much complicated and you will not understood anything and that's why we have drawn like this. Okay so this is boiler and for that K is also given. So K for this particular is a 58 watt per meter per Kelvin. Okay so this is what initial figure of boiler we have drawn it. Now what they are given is the outside surface of boiler wall is covered with asbestos. After the boiler there is asbestos covered with asbestos whose K is given and which is of 5 mm thickness. So let me draw the asbestos I am using an another color for drawing it. So green color layer shows an asbestos. Let me draw the asbestos now and the asbestos thickness is given to you 1 mm okay so this asbestos is like this okay so this is what asbestos we have plotted let me write here this as asbestos asbestos whose k whose k is given to you how much it is point 116 watt per meter per Kelvin okay and thickness of this is given to you 5 mm so 5 mm means if I divide by 1000 because it is given in mm so it will become 0 0.005 meter okay so this is a boiler and around that boiler what we have provided is asbestos whose thermal conductivity is this much whose thickness is this much okay let me move forward the temperature of outer surface and that of fluid inside are 50 degrees celsius and 300 degrees celsius. so outer surface temperature is given so it's outer surface temperature and inside fluid temperature both are different now outer surface temperature let me plot outer surface temperature is somewhere here outer surface and inside fluid temperature is given the outer surface temperature is given to you 50 degrees Celsius. So this is 50 and inside fluid temperature is 300 degrees Celsius. So this is a fluid temperature. It's not surface temperature. Remember. Okay. Next. The inner film resistance is 0 0.0023 Kelvin per watt. So what is meant by inner film resistance? Inner film resistance is what inside that fluid is present. Generally, for a fluid, the H is given, heat transfer coefficient is given. And if heat transfer coefficient is given, we determine 
generally resistance by 1 upon h but in this particular problem the h is not given they have given inner film resistance means inside convective resistance is directly given inside convective resistance is directly given so i can write here that resistance of inside is a point 0 0 2 3 unit i will not write because it will confuse more kelvin per watt okay so difference in this particular problem is what here the inner resistance is directly given whereas up till now we were determining that by 1 upon ha with this particular given data we have to determine heat transfer q so once you understood a given data solving problem is not at all difficult i hope you understood i repeat what is given in the problem in the problem the given thing is that this is the boiler this is the boiler whose inner diameter is given to you 2 meter this boiler k material k is 58 watt per meter kelvin and its thickness is 2 centimeter given we have converted into meter and after converting into meter it has become 0 0.02 and this boiler is covered with asbestos whose k is given 0 0.116 and thickness is given this with this we have to determine heat transfer okay this problem is very simple as i told you understanding problem is very important than that of the solving once you understood it in better way you can solve very easily so for a solution for a solution we know the standard equation is q is equal to delta t upon summation of r that's the formula that is the formula for determination of heat transfer now what is delta t higher temperature minus lower temperature here there are two temperature one is inside fluid temperature 300 another is surface temperature of this asbestos 50 degrees so delta t will become 300 minus 50 degrees Celsius 300 minus 50 degrees Celsius okay so this we are knowing in between these two temperature in between these two temperature how many resistances are coming remember 300 is a fluid temperature so if I move from 300 first is convective resistance of the fluid next is conductive resistance of boiler and next is conductive resistance of asbestos so convective conductive conductive in all total three resistances are there if you make summation of all these three then it will give you total resistance so let me draw the thermal resistance diagram first of all the thermal resistance diagram will become like this with three resistances so it will be first resistance as like this second resistance as like this and this is the third resistance let me draw on this side on this side it's 300 degree celsius and on this side it's 50 degree celsius now as it is 300 here this resistance is convective resistance and i will write ri ri this resistance is resistance of boiler so i will write rb this resistance is resistance of asbestos so i will write as okay there are three out of this this is convective resistance this is conductive resistance and this is conductive resistance remember if this 50 degree celsius is given for air then i have to consider convective resistance also but in the current problem they have not given the air temperature they have given surface temperature so there are three resistance what are the formula for this ri is generally determined by one upon ha this conductive resistance for <coughs> sphere is written ro minus ri divided by 4 pi k ro ri that's the formula this is also written as ro minus ri 4 pi k ro ri but as there are two conductive resistance i have to decide the various dimension dimension and radius because i cannot write ro ri here and ro ri here so we have to change the notation okay let me consider this as an inner diameter d1 this has the inner diameter d1 so inner diameter d1 is the boiler diameter next let's consider this is the diameter d2 this is the diameter of d2 how we can determine a d2 how we can determine a d2 already we are knowing this distance is of 2 meter and this distance is of 0 0.02 so 2 meter plus 0 0.02 plus 0 0.02 so it will become 2 plus 0 0.02 plus 0 0.02 so in all total become 2.04 meter is the d2 is the d2 
what is the r2 r2 will be 2.04 by 2 and it will become 1.02 meter 1.02 meter okay that's d2 we have determined now i have to determine this diameter from this to this for determining that let me draw as like this so this will be considered as this will be considered as d3 now how to determine d3 how to determine d3 already we are knowing this distance this distance is how much 2.04 so this to this distance is 2.04 in addition to that thickness this one and thickness this one so i can write as i can write as 2.04 2.04 plus this thickness is 0 0.005 plus 0 0.005 see in all it will become 2.04 plus 0 0.005 plus 0 0.005 see in all it will become 2.05 so this will become 2.05 meter and that's d3 what is r3 r3 will become r3 will become 2.05 by 2 so it will be 1.025 meter okay so that's what we have got r3 now in all total what we have got we have got d1 we have got d1 as a 2 meter and r1 r1 will become 1 meter because divided by 2 then i have got d2 d2 is 2.04 r2 is 1.02 and then r3 r3 is 1.05 d3 is what 2.05 that's we have got now when i have to write here this is for boiler this is for boiler for boiler what is the outer radius outer radius is r2 so i will make this as a r2 this as r2 and inner radius is r1 so i will write 2 1 like this and this will become r2 r1 you have to understood this you have to understood this asbestos asbestos outer radius outer diameter is d3 so outer radius is r3 inner radius is r2 so r3 r2 you have to understand outer minus inner you have to take an outer into inner we have to take we have to take it okay so if i make summation of all this like this was the convective resistance this was conductive and this is also conductive so if i make summation of this summation of this will become summation of r pH summation of RTH okay so let's determine summation of RTH let's determine summation of RTH in this particular problem this has given as it is so I will write once again formula summation of RTH is equal to RI plus R resistance of boiler plus resistance of asbestos out of that RI is directly given to you which is this one 0 0.0023 so I can write it directly so this is known what is rb let's determine rb so for determining rb what we are having formula formula is r2 minus r1 divided by 4 pi k r2 r1 we can keep the values r2 r2 is 1.02 minus r1 is 1 divided by 4 pi k value k value for boiler it's 58 58 into 1.02 into 1 that is what boiler resistance okay so now the boiler resistance if you determine if boiler resistance if you determine the boiler resistance will come to be 2.69 into 10 raised to minus 5 kelvin per watt okay so that's what the resistance will come you can check by your calculator that's rb that's rb boiler resistance then i have to determine asbestos resistance what is the asbestos resistance asbestos resistance this one r3 minus r2 r3 we are knowing r3 is equal to 1.025 minus minus what is r2 r2 is 1.02 divided by 4 pi k k for asbestos k for asbestos is given to you as a point 0.116 0.116 into r2 r1 r2 r1 is 1.025 into 1.02 so if you make this particular calculation the calculation comes to be 3.281 into 10 raised to minus 3 
Kelvin per watt. So calculation you have to do it very carefully because many times we observe that the student makes mistake in the calculation. So calculation has to be done very carefully. Now summation of RTH. What is summation of RTH? RI, RI which is given directly in the problem. So 0 0.0023 it was given. So that's RI. Then resistance of boiler which we have determined 2.69 into 10 raised to minus 5. That's second. Third one 3.281 into 10 raised to minus 3. So if you make sum of all this, if you make sum of all this, you will get an answer is equal to summation of RTH. What is summation of RTH here? The summation of RTH will come about 5.61 into 10 raised to minus 3 Kelvin per watt. This is what summation of RTH will get. Now why we are determining summation of RTH? Because I have to determine, I have to determine what? Q which is equal to delta T upon summation of RTH. What is delta T? As I told you, the delta T will be temperature difference higher minus lower. So it is 300 minus 50. So 300 minus 50. So it will be 300 minus 50 divided by 5.61 into 10 raised to minus 3. Okay. Now if you determine Q from this, you will get an answer as a 4, 4, 5, 8, 1, 0. 0.65 watt so this is what answer for heat transfer from boiler to the outer surface thank you very much